Heads or tails? Tails. Try again. Tails again. That fall, delay a show on Katie. It's showtime. Football season is back, and isn't it just the best? I love spending Sundays watching the games, eating the food, cheering my team on, and the kids are back too. They're making plays. They're scoring touchdowns. You're talking too much. Oh, I already got a penalty. That's not great. This is Carl Phelps. Carl is the treasurer of the Delmarva Football Officials Association. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for being here today, Carl. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity to come down and talk about officiating in yeah. the Delmarva area. Yeah, so you guys are kind of, first of all, you're in need of officials, right? Yes, not just in Delaware, but Maryland, Virginia, and Delaware are all in need of officials. Whether they want to come out and just keep the clock or get on the field and work with us, we need, we need help all the way up and down the line. When did you get involved? I moved to Delaware six years ago mm -hmm. and got involved straight away. You gotta be involved in football. That, that's yeah. a requirement in my house. But when did you start officiating as a whole? Cause it's been a while, right? Well, it's been a little better than 30 years, but I started back when I was in the military. Mm -hmm. Started in Europe and then Texas, Tennessee, Maryland, and now I'm settled here in Delaware. So, so why did you want to become an official? Officiating to me is like teaching mm -hmm. in that we have an opportunity to help mold the young mind, to help, help keep the young people on track and moving forward. Mm -hmm. We're not just an official, but we're also a mentor on the field. And you guys do young kids, high school kids? We do everything from the Pop Warner that you see on Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon to some of us do college ball on Saturday. Wow. None of us are doing the NFL right now, but that's okay. We're, we're striving to get there. You're gonna but get the, there someday. The young man <laughs> that, that comes up and starts today has that opportunity. What is the hardest thing about being an official? The hardest thing about being an official is learning to tune out the noise. Mm -hmm. um, the crowd becomes white noise in the background as you're doing your game. But you work with your team, you work with the crew, and you just do the best that you can yeah. at your job, and you're there. What's the wildest thing that somebody has said to you? Like, hey! Probably the <laughs> wildest thing that comes down is I, I've heard it, I don't know, several times. It's somebody will holler from the stands and go, if you had one more eye, you'd be a cyclops. <gasps> so it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You can, you can kind of dr drown that I, out. Just, you have to laugh at that. And so was it hard for you to learn all the rules? Because I know there's a lot. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of rules to the game, but all the rules come in a book. Mm -hmm. For a person that comes to us that's never officiated or, or played the sport before, it's generally easier for them to learn the rules out of the book. And then we, as seasoned officials, will work with them on the mechanics of how to, to work on the field. So then let me ask you this, do you have a favorite, like think about the NFL, do you have a favorite team in that way? Are you allowed to? We're allowed to have a favorite team at the NFL level because people are there and, and being originally from Indiana, it's gotta be the Bears. The okay. Bears, love it! But other than that, here in the state, no. We don't gotcha. have a, a favorite team. Mm -hmm. The fellas that we work with that do college football, again, they don't have a favorite team because you, you truly have to go in totally, yeah. it's a level. Go, yeah. We are the guardian of the game. It's a level playing field. I love it. I love, the, I love, I guess I've never thought about how passionate you guys have to be about the game in order to focus on just being the guardians of the game. And that's what we're there for. We, mm -hmm. we, we love football. We love mm -hmm. high school football, college football, NFL football. That's awesome. We as officials, a lot of times when we're watching a college game or, or an NFL game, we find that we're looking at the official on the field. Where are they going? What are they doing? <laughs> How are they doing something as compared to, oh, that was a great play, eh? Running back jumped over him. Well, yeah. yeah, he hurtled there, but at our level, hurtling is illegal, but in this level, it's not. So there's, there are differences to the rule book. NFL rule book, <sighs> high school rule book. Yeah, I bet. Well, cool, so coming up, you're gonna teach me a little, a couple 
tricks of the trade, all that kind of thing. So stick around, that's coming up. But before that, I want you to tell the camera, tell everybody watching that we're gonna be right back in your most official form ever. We will be right back, right after this. You're watching Del Marva Life. The clock is going, and it is time now for some official training with Carl Phelps, who is the treasurer of the Del Marva Football Fish Officials Association. Carl, we got a lot to learn today, right? Yes, ma'am, we sure do. I got. I think I got the clock, though. You got the clock down to the science. That? Yep. Okay. So here we go. But the first thing we want to talk about is, as an umpire, when we hit the field, mm -hmm. we carry an air gauge because there's going to be no Brady ball <gasps> in high school football. No Brady balls in high school football. No Can't Brady do balls that. in high school football. <laughs> this right. is a special, this is called a Fox 40. Yep. Last year during the COVID, when most people wore masks, yep. we had to have a whistle. We right. developed, or developed for us by the uh -huh. Fox people, an electronic whistle. That is you amazing. You can carry it in your hand. Yeah. You don't have to take your mask off. Wow. Then we have a penalty flag. Mm -hmm. Every official carries yep. one on his waist. Some carry an extra one in their pocket. Okay. okay. Penalty flag is designed if you see a foul, you see sure. a penalty on the field, you throw it to where you think the foul happened. Okay, so can you can you teach me the throw here? Like, like how do you throw it? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it where you have it, right? How's that? that that's perfect. All right, so and let's And throw say. is when you see a spot, Yep. you just bring it out, okay. throw it right on your spot. Ready? I see a foul. Right Is that there. good? Good stuff? That's perfect. Oh, okay. That's perfect. I like how it has a little weight to it. Yes. Makes it much easier. It has a little weight. Mm -hmm. Two other items that we yep. normally carry. One is a bean bag. Okay. It's just a little weighted bag, has the weight on the end. Sure. There are certain plays on the field, punts, mm -hmm. kickoffs, and interception, or a fumble, if the kid fumbles okay. the ball, that you just reach down yep. and you just throw this at the spot. I got a fumble. I got a fumble. That's okay. what you saw. I saw a fumble uh -huh. because that way the person on the other side or the person behind you mm -hmm. is not blowing the whistle to stop the action. Wow. They see this on the field. And it's, it's simple. Can you teach Just, me that throw? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Almost like the Scott flag. Is. Yep. Here we go. It's just pull it out, throw it. Pull it out, fumble. I got fumble. You got a fumble. There it okay. is. That's cool. Now, Oh, you got that too going on. And the, the last thing we show about, this is a down counter. Okay. This allows all the officials on the field to wow. keep counting. First down, every time you, you have it, you go to second or third. You work your way around. Yep. If there's a question, then everybody gets together and we talk to each other. Wow. Now, here's my question. Okay. We both got whistles here. Right. Okay, like the, the, you know, the original whistles. I feel like blowing a whistle, there's more to it than you might think, right? Because I feel like maybe sometimes you're intimidated. Like, what's the best way to get this really fired up? Best way to fire it up, and, and other than the electronic whistle, yeah, is you just, when you see the action stop. Action stopped. The, the football has, has stopped moving or the player is going backwards. Mm -hmm. You just take it and just blow. <laughs> All right. And that's it. That was so intimidating to me, right? And I knew you were gonna do it. All right, here we go. Can I try? Yes, ma'am. All right, ready? Player stopped. Play stop. That was empowering. How did I do? Would I was, that was fantastic. Made my ears hurt. Oh, good, okay, that was the goal. <laughs> well, Carl, thank you so much, first of all. This is awesome. It sounds like it's fun work, but it's also important work. Love what you guys do. So if somebody's maybe interested and they, they want to sign up, join you guys, what can they do? Anybody that's interested, please go to the website, dfoa.information at yahoo.com or go to the DIAA website, which is for Delaware, and they have a, a, under DIAA, there is a site for the officials. Click on that, give us your information, give us your information. We will get back in touch with you and say, hey, Here's how you can come and join us. Here's what you need to do. Here's what we're actually looking for. So please come on down. We need all the help we can get. Are you guys a fun group to be part of? We are a fun group to be part of. And even if you're in Virginia or Maryland, mm -hmm. you can call us and we will put you in touch with the right people. All right, well, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say, 
This segment is now over.